Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to do a mini tutorial showing you exactly how to do a simple basic cluster. And this is for anyone who just wants to learn how, maybe they're just starting out. And I wanted to follow that up with a little mini vlog showing this recent installation I did for Black History Month at a local school. So if you're interested in this type of content, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more coming and feel free to tell me what you'd like to see down in the comments. It's helpful for me to group my colors in advance based on clusters. For this look, I'm going to be doing clusters of eight. Two, four, six, and then a 218. You can just kind of see them together and get an idea of how you want it to look and how you want the order to be. For the red, I had these um, leftover red balloons from my Valentine's video, the Decomex. And even though I really like the quality of these balloons, the elasticity, they even have this unique smell to them that's not a bad smell. I didn't like the way they looked fully inflated, so I decided to double stuff them. So I'm just going to show you how to make a cluster. And for this video, like I noted, we're going to make a cluster using eight. So as you see, I kind of started some behind me, but this isn't an actual garland. I just literally stacked these in place, but this just gives me an idea of what I'm working with and how the end product is going to look. Let's do green. Let's make our green garland. I'm going to take two 11 inch balloons and fill them up to different sizes, just like this. This is the 11 inch fully inflated. Like if I were to measure this, this would be about 11 inches. We're going to push down and deflate them, letting some air out and making them more rounded so they fit together in the cluster really well. You can push down on them like this to make them more round. As you can see, the shape is a lot better. Now I want them to be two different sizes because I don't want them to be identical. So I'm going to, and now we have our two sizes and we're gonna tie these together. Just wanna get a little bit closer and show you how I tie them together. Just take our two necks like this, crisscross them one over each other, and then loop it around, okay? Like that, and then loop it around, okay? So then we're twisted like that, and then from here, you can make your knot. Now I'm going to take these and put them together to form what's called a quad, quad for four, obviously. Now you just want to take one, kind of put it like this, and you're going to put the next together, slide them right into each other, okay? So I'll just kind of do that again. Get a little closer. Take one. Right into each other, just like that. It's gonna look like this, but then you're going to Make sure to twist them around each other. And you can do this like a couple of times to make sure you have a nice tight um, connection. We want to put our last dupe into this quad in the same way, meaning like right in the middle of the knots. If this was my quad like this, we're going to put this right through just like that. So it's wrapping around this main knot. We don't want to wrap it around one balloon, like around here. We're not gonna do that because then it's going to move off. So we're gonna put it right through here. Slide it in. And twist it around so it's nice and tight. Now we have our cluster of six. So for the last two in our cluster of eight, we're gonna use our 18 inch, which are much larger. So you wanna blow these up pretty big, but not so big where it looks off from the rest. So you want it to be visibly bigger than the 11 inches, but you don't want it to be so big where it looks weird, you know? So you're gonna do the same thing, push down. You can kind of leave these the same size or you can make one smaller. I mean, it really just kind of depends. Ultimately, the final look is up to you and your vision and what you're trying to go for. I always say there's no right, really like a right or wrong. It's all about your artistic vision. Now again, you're going to take this and put it into the center of this cluster. And what I mean by the center is like, look where all your knots, where do they all meet? Right here. So you wanna tie 
this one around all of the knots. So I'm just gonna push down and put it in right through the middle. And from there, you have your cluster of eight and you can play around with the balloons, right? And kind of like decide how you want them to look. And let's just say hypothetically, it would go right here. So obviously, like this is not the final look, but it kind of gives you an idea of how we build out the shape. All right, so now that we've done the clusters, I'm gonna show you how to put them together really easily so you can start to build your garland base. Now there is a lot of different ways to connect your clusters together. You can use 260s, you can use fishing line, you can, I don't know. I think you, you know, I've used rubber bands a few times too in certain situations, but for me, tying the necks are the easiest and most efficient way. It keeps the clusters together really tight and reduces gaps. It also reduces the amount of materials I need. Um, there's just a million reasons why I prefer to tie the neck, but the downside is it is difficult, okay? So make sure if you're tying necks that you're only using high quality balloons because if you try with the Amazon balloons, it's not gonna work and your fingers are going to scream. So first things first, you want to get your cluster and identify a neck. I like to identify an 11 inch neck because the 18 inch are thicker and they're not as, I guess, elastic or stretchy. So reach in there, pull out the first neck you can find. I have this nice long one right here. See how easy it is? I mean, it comes all the way out like, what is that? Like it's eight inches or something. But once you have identified that, look for your neck on your second cluster. Right here we have a nice 11 inch. All right, let's see if we can get a better close up. So here are my two necks. Oh, this is uncomfortable. Okay, so we're just going around just like that. You see? And of course, for this Black History Month setup, I had to wear my Black History Month apparel with my Philadelphia Stars Negro League baseball shirt, you know, just for the occasion. So what's interesting is I'm, I'm finishing my packing up my car and everything, and I get a text that they made a mistake on the time. It's actually an hour earlier than what they had originally told me. Yeah, so I'm sitting here like making videos and I'm doing all this stuff or whatever taking my time and then I realized I had to run out as quickly as I could to try to get there I feel like by the time I get there I'm only gonna have like a 40 minute setup but I mean I told them and they said they would be understanding because it wasn't on me but yeah I don't know how much good footage I'll be able to get rushing yeah and to make a long story short I didn't get much footage at all these were some balloons that I made with my Cricut I did a bobo on the exterior and used the vinyl wording I set up my camera, it was out of focus, and it wasn't even pointing in the right direction, and I didn't notice until the very end. So I took a little bit halfway in, in the middle, like in between setup, where I still have some gaps and things I need to fill out. Not quite there yet. And for this setup, I did use my grid wall again. That was per their request, but yeah, I'm wearing these grid walls out. They're getting a lot of work. And just some last minute touch-ups. I did add some stars, a few stars, so I'm just blowing those up. My camera fell. It was not a good day for filming, that is. But this is the final look. With this balloon, I didn't use a bobo. I added the vinyl directly on, and I also sprayed all of the balloons with high shine just to give it a nicer look. Make sure you put that sheet down if you're using high shine because if it gets on the floor, it will be a big mess. But yeah, oh, so I used two blacks. I used the rest of my metallic black from my last video, and then I used fashion black on the left. Well, it's really the right, but left on the video. I use these grid walls so much, you might be wondering how you can use them for your own installation, which is why you should watch this video where I use a grid wall with another 3D panel I made myself. And on your way out, hit that subscribe.